I like to have fun. You know, I went through a lot, but I love to have fun. Amen? <laughs> so recently, I started, recently in Kenya, I, I was speaking to a, a group of, yes, like 4,000 girls, okay? Don't make fun of me, okay? 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 <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at that. You know, I shaved beforehand. And <laughs> uh, dad is protecting me from all the girls, okay? Yeah. <laughs> My dad, shout out to him. So I was speaking to a group of girls from Moy University in Kenya. And I, was, I, said this, I shared my testimony and I said one phrase. If Philip can do it, so can you. Amen. And so what happened was the next day, I went, we, you know, we went back and we, we were on our way home. And the counselor ended up calling my parents. He said that there was one girl there that was ready to commit suicide because of family issues. She said, she then told her counselor, you know what? If Philip can make it, so can I. And to this day, I, I'm, to this day she's alive, she's doing well. Amen? Next slide. I forgot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the, the main verse I want to talk about is Philippians 4, 13. And it, and it says, and it says, it's one of my favorite verses. It says, I can do some things through Christ who gives me strength. Right? No. No. I can do all things through Christ to give me strength. Amen? Amen. <laughs> you know, we have these Bible drills in church, and we're, we're, not supposed to, uh, we're not supposed to use our phones, so I hope you all weren't cheating. <laughs> all right, there's a man over there. <laughs> so the main topic I want to focus on is perseverance. And... You know what, I want to keep reminding you this. If I can make it this far, then you all have no excuse, right? So, in, on July 28th, the day after I was born, a doctor did a CT scan of my head. He said that I have an absent right eye, an absent right ear, so many holes in my heart, and I have a missing corpus callosum. Now, y'all are probably thinking, I'm looking at medical professionals, what in the world is a corpus callosum? Well, it's the information highway from the left to the right brain. And if that was missing, I would not be able to walk or talk or study or communicate with other children. I would have a lot of developmental delays. I would have seizures, seizures, seizures for the rest of my life. You see, my mom, my mom would always tell me, Philip, you need to make sure you say your S sounds properly. So I, it, took me a lot of, it, it took me a lot of practice to say that word, seizures. There you go. <laughs> so, next slide. And so my dad, you know dad, you know how dads are, you know. They, he turned to the wall. And he said, Father, just let him know who Jesus is. And everything else will be just okay. Everything else will be fine. Just let him know who Jesus is. And I want to tell you all tonight, I want you just to know who Jesus is. Just know who Jesus is. Everything else, every problem, everything, like financially, physically, whatever you have, everything will fall into its place. Amen. So over time... I started to, I started to crawl. I started to, I started to stand. I started to walk. I started to do exercises. You don't like that red butt over there? <laughs> I, I, was, I, I, was, I was thinking of a, I, I was expecting a lot big, 
a bigger laugh. Come on, guys. You all can do better than that. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about saying, I was thinking about saying, um, you all know you know that movie Sing? Yeah. If you know what I mean by saying, look at that red butt, you'll all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, okay, I hear some more laughing now. Y'all are, are on the same page. <laughs> so by the age of about two, two and a half years old, my sister was born. Yeah, she's okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> she... She's amazing, she's amazing, she's awesome. Her name is Sarah. Yes, it means princess. And I told her, hey, you stick with me, because I don't want any boys coming near you. <laughs> so by the time my sister Sarah was born, I started to talk. Amen. You know, for, for about two and a half to three years, I could not talk because I had, because I was, I was developing, you know? And then by the age of about six years old, by the time my little brother Caleb was born, I start, like the state of Tennessee said, you know what, take him out of a special school and put him in a regular school. You know, he does not need to, he has no mental re retardation at all. Amen. Amen. The, the things that are impossible with us as humans, it's possible with God. Amen. And over time, I started to grow. I went, I went to Westview Elementary School. It's an awesome school, by the way. If you come to Chattanooga, Tennessee, you know, end up moving there, I hope. <laughs> Go send your kids to Westview Elementary. They should be paying me for this, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> um, and then I ended up, and then I, this past May, I graduated from the Macaulay School. And guess this? <laughs> guess this? It's one of the top 50 schools in America. Who would you, who would think? You know, I had, I had so many issues, guys. This, the doctor was saying that, I, I, he, the doctor was saying this kid will not be able to walk or talk or study or communicate or even play the guitar. I play both acoustic, I play both electric. I've been playing for the past six years. You know, the doctor said I would be tone deaf. He said I would not understand music, but I'm telling you, I can play without even, I, I can play. Amen. 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 The things that are impossible with man is possible with God. And I'm here to encourage you guys. You all have no excuse. Amen. Amen. You have no excuse. You can do it. You can do it. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Amen. You know, sometimes I, sometimes I need to look at my notes. You know what? It's okay. Because we're all not perfect. <laughs> You know, I'm, when I often think of myself, and my parents also say this to me too, they call me a voice for the voiceless. You know, a lot of, we started a ministry called Love Without Reason in 2007. And as I, you know, as I, uh, as they go through the next slide, and we go and help these children in, in uh, India, Zimbabwe, and Kenya, we give them new life, in a sense. And before, before these kids were considered a curse, they were considered an outcast, a burden on the family. You know, one in 700 kids worldwide are born with a cleft lip and palate. Do you all hear, you all know that? Around 35,000 to 40,000 kids are born with a cleft lip and palate in India alone. And you know what? The majority of, a, the majority of them don't survive. You know what? Even, even if it's a baby girl, the, 
you know, just say kill him. Kill her. No, there's no use for her. You know, you know what makes me upset? People, we have it made in America. You know what I'm saying? We have it made in America. You know, we have, we have all different resources, all different, um, different health care systems, everything. And yet people, people find ways to bring down the country. Come on. I, I'll show you. I'll show you oppression. You know, we, 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 we work in the brothels of Mumbai. <laughs> That's oppression. They have no rights, no freedom. And yet we live in the greatest country in the whole wide world. The nation, we, God has blessed America. Let us, instead of pushing other people down, let's encourage others. Amen. So we ended up, we making, we're making them smile. And we don't, we don't end up doing the surgery and say bye-bye. We follow them. Um, you go back one slide. Go back one slide. Okay. <laughs> we, so during these medical camps, we, we, find, we build up volunteers. We ended up, we have over 150 volunteers in Zimbabwe. And by the first time my parents went there, they only knew one person. Love Without Reason has impacted over 525 communities. We've done 525 surgeries, but we've impacted over 525 communities. You know, I talked a little bit about the um, brothels in Mumbai. Hundreds of women have been rescued from the slave trade. Now they're set free. Amen. I've spoken to millions of people. You know, God has used me. This is a kid, this is a kid who was supposed to be born dead. This is a kid who was supposed to have a lot of mental issues. This is a kid who was supposed to be a vegetable for the rest of his life. This is a kid who was supposed to be uh, tone deaf, wasn't supposed to walk, wasn't supposed to talk, wasn't supposed to do anything, but God used me. Yeah. Amen. And I'm not trying to bring, I'm not trying to glorify myself. Okay, this, this, this is weird. Come on, guys. God can use me. God can use you. Where's all the, you know, <laughs> give glory to God. Give glory to God. If he can use me, he can use you. Amen. I want to say this again because I believe this verse is so powerful. You know, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Amen. Amen. I want to I wanna pray, pray for you guys. You know, I believe, I, believe I, I would not be standing here if it weren't for the power of prayer. Amen. Can I do that? All right. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for this amazing time, Father, to just share what the goodness and mercy that you've done through my family and through my life, Father. I pray for the young people, Father. I pray for, uh, I, I speak against any depression, any, any anxiety, any, any stress, anything that is hindering them or from doing your work. Each and every one of these people, each and every one of us has a purpose, has a calling in our lives, Father. Each and every one of us has, has a duty, for, has, a, has a calling for us to go out. He didn't say, he didn't say just sit down and do nothing. He said, go, go, go and preach the gospel to every creature. Go, go. I thank you, Lord, that these, that these people would go and they would share the goodness of God in their lives, Father. I pray that you would protect them and use them mightily for your glory, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. So when, so by the time... I'm losing my words here. I didn't drink any water. That's my fault. <laughs> so we have a book out there in the back. I want you guys to come and talk to me. You know what? I'm not good at selfie because my parents never taught me. But you know what? If you want a selfie, we can do it. I want to shake you all hands. I want to get to know you all better. You know? Part of the reason why I want to come here in the first place is because I want to get to know my family. <laughs> Thank you all. May God bless you. And don't worry. And don't forget, if I can do it, you can too. Oh, yeah.
Wow, 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 wow. Praise God. <laughs> Philip, you are a blessed man. Can we stretch your hand towards him and we're going to bless him again, please? Every one of you, please. As he's leading the wonderful ministry for many destitute out there and many rejected people out there, many are suffering out there with different kinds of ailments. His wonderful ministry is, is reaching out to people and uh, with the word and, and the grace and the compassion. May the Lord be with this wonderful brother and that family and that wonderful organization as they're leading many to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for this dear brother, Philip, O Lord. We thank you for the wonderful work that you're doing in his life, O Lord. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We thank you for the strength that you're pouring out upon this dear brother, Lord. Continue to use this dear brother and that ministry for God's glory and the expansion of thy kingdom, O Lord. We bless this dear brother in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let him be a blessing to multitude, O Lord. Many, many, many people, O Lord, so that many may come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ through the wonderful testimony. We thank you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.